All right, guys. Um, just filled it up with water. So I'm doing the flush. But um, this is how I do the whole, you know, adding the coolant and bleeding the air, air out of the system. I do have a 180 uh, coolant temperature um, thermostat. Uh, I've added the water. I'm using water right now because I'm going to flush the system. But this is how I keep an eye on my temperature. I don't use the dash just because it's basically a dummy gauge. It's just going to tell you when you're overheating. That's, by that time, it's too late. See, you know, most of the air is out of the system. I'm at 204. Just, just back and forth, trying to squeeze the air out of it. There you go. Now, if this was cooling, I wouldn't have it like dropping all over the belt. I would most likely probably have a rag underneath it to catch it. Because once you get this coolant on your belt, it starts to squeak, and then your belt just destroys. It. So another thing I wanted to add, tell you guys, um. When you get above 200, 210, around there, you're, you're gonna notice that you're gonna start hearing the ticking come. Now, don't take my word for it. There's sometimes it's a slip liner, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just your rockers. I've come to learn that if you have a 180 temperature on your uh, coolant, your oil stays a lot cooler, doesn't get that hot, and you don't start hearing that chattering that you're possibly gonna hear right now. That infamous lifter shattering. Um, how I corrected this uh, shattering from happening and whatnot. Um, I am going to make a video on how to correct this. And how not to freak out and think, oh, you know, it's my engine. I just, my, my liner slipping, etc, etc. It's not. You know, nine times out of ten, it's just your rocker shaft assembly that's most likely either worn out. Um, you know... Or your, your, your temperature is way too high, so the inch is running too hot and it's thinning out your oil. So what I've noticed is that once I put this 180 temp uh, thermostat, you know, and I did add a cooler temporarily because I wanted to see, you know, this was, was, was going to alleviate the problem. And it did, actually. Um, the chattering stopped. I had, a, I had an old cooler set up just to check it out and see what was going on. And uh, it actually fixed the issue. So now I'm looking at ways of mounting this oil cooler temper temp uh, permanently right behind the in front of the radiator, just to keep the oil temperature down. Uh, I will make a video of the rocker shaft assembly and explaining you on where it chatters and where's, where's that clicking noise you hear, so you don't freak out and start selling your truck or you know start parting it out or etc. Um, but yeah, I mean, there, there is a way to fix for that, so stay tuned. I will show you guys that for now. Seems like I got most of the air out of the system. I'm going to let it cool down and, you know, drain it and add the right coolant. The only reason I'm doing this, is too, is um, it had the orange stuff in here, which is uh, not suitable, I guess, for this engine from what I've heard. Um, and this is the stuff you need. It's blue. It's actually the Range Rovers, V8s, and diesels, 90 to 2005. This is 2004. So, yeah, I'm also gonna make a review on the oh, oh, on the um, reader that I have for the coolant tank. It's like a scanner, and I will put the link in the description below later on with the review, so you guys can buy this if you need it instead of adding another gauge. And, you know, you have everything in one, one setting. It does have for you to speedometer, vacuum, all that stuff. So I will make a review on this. So until then, stay tuned, guys.